for joining tonight. Look, tonight was tough. Tonight was tough. So I apologize for the delay. I was sitting here trying to watch TG Live, but I ain't want to push the live back any further because... It is a work night for me, and I got to get up in the morning. And I want to start this at 10 o'clock, but this is a good topic. This is a good topic tonight, so thank y'all so much for joining. Thank y'all so much for watching the replay, okay? Because I know we're going to have some replay watches tonight, and that's okay. Don't feel bad, y'all, if you can't watch it live. I appreciate y'all watching and replay. Whenever you watch it, look, it's going to be lit. So I appreciate you. So if you are watching me for the very first time and you're like, who is this girl? Well, my name is Lisa Smiles and I am the originator, the creator of the famous Glow Million Dollar Glow Butter. So if you haven't heard, Glow Butter has healing properties for eczema, dry skin, or if you just want to get your... Uh -huh. Your glow on, okay? So go ahead and slide on over to the link in the bio and get you some glow butter. We have scent, we have scents, and we have the unscented. If you have scents of skin, and I'm also a natural hair care specialist here in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. So if you're looking for a hairstylist, go ahead and click the link in that description box and go ahead and head on over and get them gems, okay? So here on my channel, we're gonna kiki, we're gonna get that word up in you, and we're also gonna get your natural hair together. So tonight, we have an interesting topic. We're going to be talking about, look, I'll be forgetting my topic. I had to look down what I said. Okay, understanding how your hair grows. I wanted to say it right. Understanding how your hair grows. I think this is going to be a great topic because the main thing that I hear in the salon is like, Lisa, I feel like my hair ain't growing. Like, it's at the same length. Like, huh, why my hair ain't growing? Well, look, keep on watching this video. Keep on watching this video because you're going to understand why. You're going to understand why. So first, without further ado, I got to uh, greet the smile strong. I ain't bring no water up in here and my mouth is already dry. So we might have to take a commercial break so I can go get some water, okay? But first, we're going to go ahead and greet Q Scott is up in the building. She was first in the building. She was in the vestibule. She, Q Scott over there, she second usher. So she running from TG to RC. So y'all keep Q Scott in y'all prowls because she is toggling the night with them Twitter fingers going back and forth but we appreciate you q scott she said hey smiles tribe let the toggling begin come on now coach sheena's in the room well she was in the room or she's still here i don't know if she's toggling but i'm gonna go ahead and greet you anyway coach sheena's in the room if y'all haven't subscribed to coach sheena's channel make sure y'all slide on over there and subscribe to her channel because she's doing a self-love series and she also reads the bible to you because y'all know y'all on the bible app that man, when, when y'all press for him to read to y'all, he be barking. Yes, he be barking at us, okay? And Coach Sheena has a nice, pleasant voice just to hear the word of God. If you don't like reading, go on head on to her channel and she will read to you, okay? And see, I can tell that you work, that you have a daycare because your voice is so smooth and it's so calm. It don't even like you get mad. Coach Sheena, it don't even like you get mad. It don't even like you be barking at people. <laughs> Y'all know I got that from my girl. Queen Heart is up in the building. She said, hey, Smile Strong. Yeah. Yeah, Queen Heart. Coach Sheena, she don't be barking. She don't be barking. She just, she just as sweet as a bird, okay? So, Queen Heart, thank you so much for joining this video. And Acacia, the head usher. I'm not sure, Acacia. Y'all keep Acacia in your prayers because Acacia might be toggling the night too. Acacia, thank you so much for joining. Smiles Tribe Moderator, I appreciate you. So, look, tonight we're going to learn. Tonight we going to learn, okay? And then we just got that, that, that Malasha TV with Sophia Melanie, okay? She done slid on up in the room. She said, I didn't realize you were live. I'm glad I checked. I was listening to Tony Premier. I was too. I was too. And I was just saying at the beginning that I was trying to make an executive decision, like when, when I was going to go live. And I didn't want to push it back too late. I didn't want to go live at 10 o'clock because it's a work night. And I've been trying to work on getting on the bed a reasonable time. So anyway, Divinity just slid up in the room. She said, hey, ladies. Hey, Divinity. Thank you so much for joining this live stream. And if you have to toggle and come back and watch the replay, look, that's what the replay is here for, okay? So first, we're going to talk about understanding how your hair grows. So you might be somebody where you feel like your hair is at the same length. You feel like it, it don't grow. Like, what can I do? So we're going to kind of just do just a little bit of science behind 
understanding how your hair grows so when things happen you like oh that makes sense okay that makes sense because sometimes when you're pregnant when you're stressed a whole lot of things happen to our body and i have a a good video i think it's gonna drop tomorrow and the name of the video i don't know if y'all seen the premiere it's gonna say how your menstrual cycle affects your scalp sensitivity that's gonna be another good video okay so y'all make sure y'all set your reminders for that video but tonight we're going to talk about the hair growth cycle okay so i got my little notebooks because I, I wrote some notes i wrote some notes down tonight i wrote some notes down tonight so we can stay focused and we can get into it so if y'all ready for number one go ahead and put number one in the chat go ahead and put number one in the chat and just so y'all know our hair growth our, our we have a hair growth cycle so it goes through three stages so we're going to talk about the three stages that your hair goes through the three cycles or whatever um and just to keep it simple for y'all i'm not going to use a whole lot of the technical terms that they tell us in cosmetology school i'm gonna keep it simple so y'all can remember and so it makes sense i'm gonna explain it basically like as if i'm explaining it to my eight year old niece so y'all can get it okay so y'all put number one in the chat so first before i i start I, I wanted to say that our hair our hair the hair on our head is the only thing that regenerate regenerates so for example like our nails like we can cut our nails and they grow out but if you pull out your whole nail bed like it's it's done like it's done okay but our hair we can cut it it can fall out and god can still move in our life and it still can grow okay it still can grow so for the first stage the first cycle is the active stage the the active phase so go ahead and put active phase for number one the dead demonstrate that hey lisa hashtag question what's up with the status of lisa smile scarf i like that scarf child ain't no status ain't no status because to be honest with you i know this is a sidebar be honest with you i have not found the most cost efficient way to sell them where i'm not charging y'all an arm and a leg and i'm still making a profit so i'm still trying to figure it out i'm i'm still trying to figure it out to be honest with you but yeah i'll keep doing some research and just know it's coming okay so the active stage so in this when your hair is in the active stage this can last anywhere from five to seven years okay this can last from five to seven years now what i will say about the active stage this is when your hair is popping this is when your hair is doing its thing it is growing it is being active in these streets you hear me you know what i gotta get some water and i gotta stop this drying hold on Y'all forgive me. Y'all forgive me. Y'all forgive me. My throat was dry. And uh, that dryer, I had, I'm had i drying some clothes. It was loud. But y'all forgive me. So the active stage is anywhere between five to seven years. So this is when your hair is popping, okay? It's doing its thing. It's growing. You feeling good about yourself. Your baby daddy ain't stressing you out. <laughs> For real, your baby daddy ain't stressing you out. You drinking your water, you minding your business. Like, it's active. Like, it's doing its thing. Now, this is what I'm going to say about the active stage. Even though it lasts from five to seven years, only 70 to, this only happens to 70 to 90% of your hair, Okay. This is only 70 to 90% of your hair. So it could, your hair could be 70% of your hair could be in the active stage and the other 30% could be in another stage or 90% of your hair could be in the active stage and the 10% could be doing something else. Does that make sense? Put a yes in the chat, put a yes in the chat. All right. 
The dad demolishes asked the question. She said, so when your hair is growing, that means it's active? Yes, but keep on listening now. Keep on listening. And Divinity, come on, Divinity. She's a teacher in the building. I love how Divinity is giving us the uh, the recap notes. Divinity said, last from se five to seven years, doing his things like seaweed. Yes, come on with the recap notes, Divinity. Yes, okay, y'all say it made sense. Now, this is what I'm going to say, in case y'all didn't know it. Our hair grows the fastest between the ages of 15 to 30. So, some of y'all might be past 30. God bless you. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. It's still hope. It's still hope. So, some of y'all might be past 30. Some of y'all might be 15 to 30. I'm going to tell you now. If you in the age range of 15 to 30, you need to be taking care of your hair. Okay? You need to be taking care of your hair no matter what age you are. But when your hair... Is growing the fastest between 15 and 30 need to be taken care of. And this is so important because a lot of times we start, I know me, I started doing my hair at a young age and I was doing the most, okay? I was absolutely doing the most, but y'all need to be taking care of your hair if, you, if between the ages of 15 and 30 be taken care of, okay? Because you prime time, baby. You prime time. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying your hair grows the fastest, during this age, 15 to 30. That does not mean that your hair is not growing after 30. So if you pass 30, the Lord is still with you because you're still here. So your hair is still growing, but it might not be growing as fast as those that are between the ages of 15 and 30, okay? All right, does that make sense with y'all? So that's why sometimes, too, I will say this about the active stage. Uh, pregnant women, y'all popping. If you're pregnant right now or you expecting, your hair is probably popping right now because probably 90% of your hair right now is in the active stage because you're getting those good hormones, you're growing a human life, and God is doing a new thing in you, okay? God is doing a new thing in you, and your hair is popping when you're pregnant. It's probably looking fuller than it ever has been. So, when, especially when you're pregnant, take care of the hair. Take care of that hair, okay? Because a drought is coming. Come on, somebody. I forgot to tell you, I got my tambourine tonight. Got my tambourine. So if you're pregnant right now, you popping. You popping. You popping. You popping, sis. So take care of the take care of that hair because a drought is coming. Come on, somebody. All right. And Queen Heart said, I see some comments. Uh, what Queen Heart say? Okay, Queen Heart said, the back of my hair grow like weeds, but the top portion need divine intervention. Yes, so that back part of your hair is definitely in that active stage, okay? It probably just growing, and that's okay. And different, different areas of your head can be in different stages at different times, okay? All right? Angie, in real life, Angie, thank you so much for joining this live stream. She said, my hair grows fast. Why does it grow so much faster when it's locked? We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. That's a good question. That is a good question. And that the mom said, dang, God bless you. <laughs> Acacia said she definitely passed 30. It's okay, Acacia. Y'all keep on listening. And um, the dad, the mom said, hey, my hair is still growing. Look, y'all, all of our hair is still growing even if you are past the age of 30, it's still growing, but it might not be growing as fast, okay? You know how, like, after 30, your knees start hurting, you know, you still living, you still here, God bless you, but, you know, some things are kind of, like, slowing down a little bit. That's kind of what's happening with our hair, okay? So, y'all go ahead and put a number two in the chat. We're going to go over the, the second phase your hair goes through, all right? Queen Heart said, seems like my hair started really growing after 30 around 33 but queen heart it could be you start taking better care of your hair and retaining your length after 33 that's another one you probably was real ghetto and raggedy before the age of 30 i'm just playing which i don't know you you probably can fight so let me keep my mouth closed you probably can fight i don't want you coming over here coming down here and beating me up because y'all know she's she from new york you know what i'm saying she's from new york so but i'm just saying i'm just saying but keep on listening because there's a lot of caveats and nuances to this um, Divinity said 70% can be active, the rest, oh well. <laughs> Queen's heart said, oh, I wasn't living right, so my hair was fully part. Yeah, yeah, if you ain't living right, hey, hey, if you ain't living right, hey, you, yo, yo, your hair gonna suffer, okay? 
Uh, Tracy Ann said, my hair grows better and faster now that I stopped the creamy crack. Yes, yes, it's a lot of factors. Acacia said, her slowed down, but God, look, God is still moving because Acacia been using that rosemary stimulating, and God been moving in her life, okay? Did that demonstra say, yes, I noticed pregnant people hair grows long, especially the prenatal pills they take. Yes, yes, okay? Did that demonstra said, Lisa said, the drought is coming. It sure is, okay? So number two, the second phase that your hair goes through is, is the transitional is a transition phase okay the transition phase okay so you might be high today but god will have a way to humble you come on somebody come on you you better be faithful you better be faithful over that hair when your hair is in that active stage you better be faithful you better take care of it because what i tell you a drought is coming but number two is a transition phase it ain't over yet it ain't over to God says it's always in transition. And y'all know I'm going to relate the word to this. And some of y'all right now, some of y'all right now, y'all been sitting up high and God is trying to take you higher. He's trying to transition you. And he said to stand still. And that's exactly what your hair is doing during this transition phase. Come on. Somebody lift up their hands. Where's my, where's my sheet? I ain't even got my tissue up here in here, but would there be one? Would there be one? Lift up, lift up your hands. Lift them up. Get I got the sheet for you. I got the sheet. But look, when your hair is in a transition stage, your hair stops growing. It, it, it is at a halt. So sometimes in life, we be going through stuff, and God said, hey, stop right now. I need you to stop. I need you to pay attention to what you're doing, okay? Because we need to analyze some things. So when your hair is in this stage, your hair is not coming out. It's not coming out. It's not coming out. It's not coming out. You're not losing no hair. You at a standstill. God got you right there for a reason. And you need to be still and get the lesson. Now, y'all see how, y'all see how, y'all see how the Lord that came in. Let me tell you, here on my channel, we're going to talk about God. And we're going to get your natural hair together. Come on now. Somebody getting delivered. Not off of a hair tip, but off of the sermon I'm preaching right now. But some of y'all, God got you in a transitional spot. He been moving in your life. You been active, but he wants you to be still right now. Same thing with your hair. So during the transition stage, your hair is not growing. That's not a bad thing. Your hair is not growing. It's not falling out. At this, at this stage, the bulb is shrinking. And sometimes you got to hit rock bottom to see the light. Come on, somebody. Come on now. The, your hair bulb is shrinking, okay? Your hair bulb is shrinking because it's in transition. And sometimes God got to pull us away from certain people, pull us away from certain things to get quiet so we can be still and be ready, okay? He is taking us through, but the Lord is always with you. Now, what I will say about this transitional stage, this can last anywhere from one to two weeks, okay? Anywhere from one to two weeks, also, during this transition stage, this is only 1% to 2% of your hair. This is only 1% to 2% of your hair. So, even though you high and mighty and God put you at a standstill, there are some things in that 1% that he's trying to work out in your life. You still got some things in your life that you need to give up. You need to get off your bike. You need to probably put the drink. You've been drinking too much. You've probably been smoking too much. You've probably been gossiping too much. You've probably been cussing. It's, it's that 1%, okay, that, that got you messed up right about now. He trying to take you to the next level. So he had to stand you still and say, it's some things you need to work out, sister girl, brother girl, okay? It's some things you need to work out. So that's that 1%. That's that 1%, okay? He still love you. That's why he got you in the standstill stage, okay? Y'all don't, I don't preach the whole word. We can go ahead and take the offering in right there. We can go ahead and take the offering in right there. But do we have any questions on that? Let me catch up on some of the comments, and then we're going to get to the third one. All right. Coach Sheen is in the room. Hey, ladies. Oh, my top grows more than my back. Yep, you see that a lot. You'll see that a lot. That the top needs to be growing more than the back. And Divinity said, mine grows faster at the top also, okay? <laughs> Tracy Ann laughing at Queen Heart talking about part. 
that the mom should say, honestly, now my hair is the longest it's ever been. The dead demolish you oh, You better keep on keeping on taking care of that hair. Keep on taking care of it. Yes, you you over there popping. You Lord moving in your life. So you take care of it. The dead demolish said, at least it got me crying. <laughs> I can't you just post the link for the mango glow butter. Thank you so much for posting that link for the glow butter and for the rosemary stibling and spray. I appreciate that occasion. Okay, Q Scott is up in the building. She done slid back over again. That demolisher said, I agree, Tracy Ann. Once I shaved off all my hair, I went natural. It grew better. I'm so glad to release the creamy crack at 29. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Acacia, where does she? Okay, y'all got it. Peace be still, Q Scott said. Divinity said, it's not over yet. Stand still and know that he is the Lord. Come on now. Come on. Okay, that demolisher got a question. She said, what does it mean when your hair grows in a V? My hair has always grown in V shape. Is that normal? Yes, that is normal. Sometimes you'll see that. And then sometimes, like, just to help keep the length, sometimes you can get a, a blunt cut, but some people don't want to lose them inches. So sometimes with some hairstyles, like when we see your hair, how the way it's growing, we'll kind of, like, trim it and cut it in the in the shape it's, it's going in. So... That's totally normal. I have seen that a lot, and there's nothing wrong with that. And it's probably because the hairs up here is not growing as fast as the ones in the back. So the ones that sit in the back is probably growing a little bit faster than the ones in the front. So that's what's causing that. Sometimes that whole V shape. Sometimes, okay. Hopefully, that answer your question. Angie said, "Singing, stand still, and know that I am God." Yes, yes. Q Scott said, my tends to do the same. So, so, all right. All right, y'all go ahead and put a number three in the chat. Not brother girl. <laughs> Sidebar, Lisa, your eyebrows are popping. Yeah, y'all. I had to throw a little eyebrow tonight. I had to throw the eyebrow tonight because y'all see I got this scarf on. Um, um, God is doing a new thing. He is doing a new thing on this scarf, okay? Y'all stay tuned. He doing a new thing. Coach Sheena said, that's real good. That demolisher, I went to the steam room at the watch today thinking of their moisture. Lisa Smiles taught us also, no shower cap is working for me. It's setting me free. Come on, somebody. We praise God for Coach Sheena. We praise God. I see you with that. I see you with that ponytail. Coach Sheena said, boop. She done put that ponytail on her head. I said, come on, Coach Sheena. Come on now. Uh, teaching our kids. All right. Okay, Angie got a question. Then we'll get to number three. Angie said, what can you do to grow your lashes? So off topic. Now, Angie, I ain't no esthetician now. Now, I don't know what you can do to grow your lashes, but you can just wait for the Lord moving your life, send a prayer up, and maybe go see an esthetician. And then also, you got to think about, do people in your family got lashes? Do people in your family got lashes? Are, your, are people in your family lashes compromised? Like, I actually have naturally, let me get in the camera with my good eye, my good eye. Y'all see how long my lashes are? All I have on is mascara, but I, in my family, we naturally have like long lashes, but sometimes that just depends on genetics, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get set. Okay. So number three, the third stage that your hair going to go through is the resting stage. The resting stage. So what happens during this? God got to just totally remove some people from your life. Okay? He said, I want you to be still and hear from me and clean up your lifestyle. And now it's time to remove some things from your life, remove some people. So God is separating that hair from the root. Come on, somebody. God is separating that hair. From the root. But guess what? Even though during this resting stage, there is still restoration. There is still restoration. That means if that old hair is moving out, my God, then what's coming in? Oh! Come on, somebody. Did y'all get the word? Did y'all get the word? As the old is moving out, God is doing a new thing. In your life. Come on, somebody. And that was for somebody tonight. 
Lift up your hands right now. If that was for you, lift up your hands right now and receive that word. God is doing a new thing in this resting stage. Even though it's a resting stage, some things you have to lay down. You got to lay down that heavy weight. You got to lay down those old hot habits so God can do a new thing. So in this stage, y'all, in this stage, this stage can last anywhere from two to four months. Two to four months. So your hair can be in the resting stage for two to four months. That means it's a lot, whole lot of people dropping out your life. That means you having more shed hairs. Because God is trying to remove the old so he can do a new thing in your head. Okay? So he can do a new thing in your head. And y'all hear me say all the time. Y'all like, oh, Lisa, my hair be shedding. I hair, I told y'all, sheds anywhere between 100 to 150 strands per day. When you see that old, when you see that shed hair, I want y'all to start changing y'all mindset. When y'all see that shed hair, just know that God is doing a new thing. Come on, somebody! <laughs> Do y'all feel the spirit tonight? Because I feel them tonight. When y'all see those shed hairs, I want y'all to say, God is doing a new thing in me. Come on now. You got to release the old so something new can come on in. So I don't want y'all to be discouraged when y'all see those shed hairs. Okay? Don't be discouraged. Just know that the Lord, he is working. Okay? So with that resting stage, the old hair got to come out. So the new one can come in. And that was a word for somebody. Lord, we thank you for that. We thank you for that. So we're going to get into some of the caveats and nuances because some of y'all had some questions. Some of y'all had some questions. But um, I did want to address another comment somebody said. Um, let me go up because I missed something. Um, Queen Heart said, applying Vaseline or castor oil three times a week work wonders. Really, Queen Heart? I didn't know that. On your lashes? Now, now, y'all use at your own risk because I know Queen Heart ain't no esthetician. So, y'all use use that advice at your own risk. <laughs> Queen Heart say a tad, not enough to clog your pores. Oh, okay. Q Scott said, Angie, a friend of mine actually put a little growth oil on hers. Oh, a little growth oil. A little growth oil. Okay, y'all come come on now. <laughs> I can't just say not the good eye. Yeah. <laughs> I used to until I started wearing fake ones. Okay. The dead demolisher said, wait, Lisa, you talked about the lash you use and get ready with me. What was the name of that Met Scare you showed us? I can't remember. Okay. L'Oreal, send me a check. Name of the mascara is called Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. It's almost like if y'all shop at Sephora or Ulta, y'all know that mascara called Better Than, Better Than, Better Than. It's the equivalent to that, but it's at a cheaper price. But the mascara, I got it on tonight. I'm going I'm to let y'all look with my good eye. Is it? Good eye. Good eye. I'm good eye, okay? You make it like you got on lashes, but yeah, that uh, it's called Lash Paradise by L'Oreal, and tell them to send me a check because so many people done bought that mascara because I refer, you know what? Get off Amazon. I'm about to put it in my Amazon. As they just live, I'm going to put it in my Amazon store so they can send me a check, okay? So Amazon can send me a check. You can get off Amazon, okay? I'm going to put it in my Amazon store after this one, so if y'all, I would appreciate if y'all shop through my store since I, since I put y'all on, okay? I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to, but you really have to. You really have to, because I put you, I put you wrong. I put you wrong. I told you about that, Larry's Paradise. So, if you up on the side of my voice and you can buy that mascara, you might as well go to my link. You might as well. You might as well. Okay. Now. Hope that answer your question to that demolisher. Acacia said, rest in stage. Yes. Yes, Coach Sheena. The good eye. God gets me every time. Tony Gaddis gets me every time when you say that good eye. All right. Tracy Ann said, Angie, I ain't heard oil on your lashes. Bed helps. Is that true, Lisa? Tracy Ann, I, I ain't no esthetician. So I, don't, I, don't, I ain't about to endorse that now. Y'all move by the action of your spirit. Okay. If it sit right in your spirit, you do it. 
If not, you just wait for the Lord to move in your life and you find your institution in that. Okay, but I don't really know. But it makes sense. Q Scott said, you better relate. <laughs> Yes, Q Scott and um the Sophia, y'all might be related. Y'all might be related. You know, Sophia just found a daddy about three years ago. That might be your sister. <laughs> you hear me? It might be your sister. You don't know. Okay. All right. Q Scott said, yes, even the little doodle mark on your dad's hall, on your dad's hall bar envelope. I don't know what she's talking about. I try. It worked wonders. Okay. That demolition, I was about to ask about that, but you just answered. Okay, okay. And in case you just dropped the uh, lavender glow butter, it aids in sleep and relaxation. Okay. That demolition said her phone died. Okay. Queen Heart said, there are sufficient articles that influence me to try, especially when the lashes get dry after rinsing off mascara. That made sense. So, I guess when you rinse it off, you got to oil it to, to lock the moisture in. That made sense now, Queen Heart. That made sense. All right. So, we're just about to ask about your store. Okay, let's go. Referral link. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we got the one and only Queen Naya. Okay, the one and only Queen Naya. Thank you for joining this live stream. I think that's a new face. I haven't seen that name before. Okay, and Divinity is bringing y'all back in. She gave y'all the notes about the wrestling stage. God is doing a new thing in my life. Slide out that stale flavor and inhale a new refreshing breath of air. Come on, Divinity, with the word, with the wrestling stage. Okay? All right. All right. Lisa, stop it. Too funny. My dad is from Mississippi. Okay. Okay. Okay, you might be from Ghana. You might be from Ghana. Okay, now this is what I want to say. Now we done went through the all the three phases, the cycles that your hair go through. This is what I want to say. Your hair is not going to be going through all the stages at the there at the same time. Okay, so this part of your hair might be some some parts of your strands might be inactive. This part might be in resting. This part might be in a transitional. Like you might have one, you know, they all doing a different thing. So I know some of y'all think all your hair is in the resting stage at one time. All your hair is in the active stage at one time. No, your hair, all of them has got their own life. Like how, how we do, everybody is different. Everybody is in a different season in their life. Okay. Embrace the season you in. Okay, Queen Heart says too much. No, I, I'm saying this. So, all your hair is in a, it's not doing it all at the same time. Now, the only way this has happened is when you see this with newborn babies and animals. So, you know how some of y'all done had babies? Now, God bless you. Now, I ain't talking about your child. Now, I don't talk about people's kids. I don't talk about people's kids. But some of y'all had little bald-headed babies. Some of y'all, when y'all push that baby out, Y'all love, now y'all love y'all baby. Now y'all love y'all child. Y'all say y'all child was cute, but your baby came out bald headed. Okay. And I just want to let you know that your baby was in the resting stage. All the hair was in the resting stage at one time. So when you push that baby out, that baby was bald headed. And that baby was cute now because that's your baby. You push that baby out. You love that baby. Okay. That was a, just as cute a little bald headed baby can be. Now my sister, she came out bald headed. Okay. My sister came out bald headed. I had hair. So we twins. So when my sister was born, she was going through a time of her life. She was in the resting stage. I was in my active stage. Okay. Babies, the ones in the fetus and stuff like that, them are the, the ones who wear their hair, all their hair is going through these faces at, at, at one time. So my sister came out a little bald headed. God bless her. She was still cute. She was just as cute as she could be. Now, so my nieces came out bald headed. They were still cute. That was still cute, okay? You couldn't tell me nothing. You couldn't tell. And I wish you would say something about my niece, okay? I wish you would, okay? And like they my kids. But that happens sometimes. Sometimes you can be done had your baby. Your baby be bald. And all of a sudden, it have all this hair. And that means it went from the resting state to the active state. Like your baby hair just grew out of nowhere. Some of y'all had babies. And the baby came out with a head full of hair. You're like, good God, why well, I'm do all this hair? Some of y'all pushed out babies. They came out with a whole silk press. 
A whole silk press. Y'all ever see them babies and they, and they come out with the slick down? Okay, some of y'all babies came out with a slick down or with a head full of hair. That means your baby at the time when you delivered was in the active stage, okay? It was in the active stage. So all that, it was doing its thing. But you might notice after you had the baby, then y'all see the little babies get a little bald head in the back. And y'all see the little babies get bald in the back. That's normal. That means that they went through the active stage. Now it's going through the resting stage. Where all that hair kind of falling down. That is totally normal. Okay, when you see that. You even see it with some animals. You be like, look at that bald-headed cat. Now I can't stand to see no bald-headed cat. And that er that vets my spirit sometimes. I'm like, Lord, bless the cat. Let the cat get some hair. Let the cat get some hair. Let the dog get some hair. Sometimes that happens with animals, but we as human, you know, can we just think about how God made us as individuals? Like, God is just awesome. How you don't believe in God, all right? You know what I'm saying? When you just think about all these things, all these intricate things, like about how our hair grows. So, I'm putting it out there for those who might have kids or something like that. And with the animals, we have bald-headed dogs, we have bald-headed cats. You know, all kinds of stuff be going on. But God has made us in a very unique way. And it's actually hilarious when you're thinking about like, dang, God, like, we got to go through that. Yes, yes, yes. So I wanted to put that out there. And Divinity listed the three stages of hair life as active, transition, and resting. Thank you, Divinity, for posting that. Um, the that demolisher said, wow, I am floored. I do that doodle on every single car I give someone ever since I was a kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so is my sister in Christ. You right about that. That the monsters that, hey, Lisa, Q, Scott are long last sisters. Yes. Yes, we are. Q, Scott said, now her baby came out with a full head of hair. Look, Q, Scott said, what you're not going to do, Lisa, is tell me my baby came out bald headed. I just play but she said her baby came out with a full head of hair. To this day, I was expecting her to be like all the other babies. So you were expecting for your baby to be bald, Q Scott. You were expecting for your baby to be bald. Well, praise God that she came out with a head full of hair. We just can we just thank God for that. And then I think Q Scott said, you know, in your family, y'all be growing long hair. So we just praise God for you having good hair genes. We 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 thank you. We thank you. We praise God for that. We praise God for that, Q Scott. Um, and Acacia just dropped the link for my Amazon store of Lisa's favorites. Thank you, Acacia. And I'm going to add that mascara after this chat. Okay. Divinity said, my daughter had a head full of wavy hair. Oh, Divinity, did you give your daughter some finger waves? Oh, I used to love doing it to my niece hair. I'm like, uh, let me go ahead and give you a little finger wave. I used to be having a little baby comb. I used to be finger waving my niece hair. Yeah, did you give her some finger waves? I bet that was lit. Q Scott said, oh, my God, that was my daughter, the wavy slit down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Q Scott. You gave her the slit down. The dad the monster said, from the, ages two to, from the ages of two to five, my hair was in a resting stage. <laughs> if y'all would have seen my younger pictures, y'all would holler. The dad the monster, go ahead and post that. <laughs> go ahead and post that and do the work of the Lord. <laughs> Queen Heart said, makes sense, but can the resting stage last for years? Some don't grow to like five. No, no, the resting age can't last no five years. I don't believe the resting stage can last no five years. Then there might be something else going on eternally. Now, y'all know the kids can go through trauma and stress too. The reason why their hair ain't growing. So it might be something else internally going on that's, that's causing their uh, hair not to uh, grow. Q Scott said, I am crying over here, not coming out with a silk press. <laughs> Them babies do be coming out with a silk press. They do. They do be coming out with a silk press, honey. No, not the cat. Yes, the cat. Bald, bald cat disturbed my spirit. <laughs> I love cats. I'm a cat person, so God forgive me. Yeah, they do. They do all oh, disturb my spirit. Tracy Ann said, me too, so so my hair rested into my school. Your hair rested into middle school, Tracy Ann. Jesus. Sidebar, Lisa, you are now at 557 subscribers. 
Y'all, we're going to be at 1K in no time. We're going to be at 1K in no time. Oh, Lord. Okay. And Acacia just posted a link for hair products and various scents of glow butters. Thank you, Acacia. All right. Q Scott said yes, because I thought all babies were bald. She was the only black baby in the nursery. We just praise God for that, Q Scott. We praise God because, you know, they've been trying to say that black people can't grow no hair. We can grow some hair. So we just praise God for your daughter, Bria, being an example to show that y'all can grow some hair. Okay. Then the monster said, dang, Tracy Ann, I feel your pain, but look at you now. Let's go. Yes. Keisha, I mean, not Acacia. Not Acacia. Tracy Ann had that silk press. She was at church jiggling. I just laughed. I was laughing. I was laughing. I was laughing. <laughs> Cause y'all know Tracy Ann be shutting me down. Tracy Ann put that hair on that hill. <laughs> she started shut me down. You hear me? All right. Divinity said, my daughter hair is almost to her waist at 28. Yes. Come on now. Your daughter got them bundles. Now, Divinity. Because y'all know Divinity got that sauce. Now, Divinity, if your daughter hair to her waist. I know she got that sauce. Cause look at who her mama is. Mm. She got that sauce. Y'all watch out for. Y'all watch out. Watch out. Acacia said, clean out that gut. What you talking about, Acacia? Now, Acacia, what you talking about? Um, Divinity said, Lisa, no, I didn't as much as I love finger waves. Oh, yeah, you, you ain't finger waves, Divinity. You should have. Then the monster said, I meant to say from age two through five, fifth grade, hair growth with my naps was a serious struggle. <laughs> Queen Heart said, Miss, when the babies took at least a week plus for their eyes to open, now they seem to exit the wound with the eyes open. They used to take a week to open their eyes. I ain't think that. I thought they opened their eyes fresh out the wound. I thought. I thought I might be wrong. Am I bugging? I don't know if you bugging. Because I ain't never pushed one out. <laughs> I ain't never seen one being pushed out. Except for on the um, TLC. All my nieces and nephews, I was in college. So I always came home right after they had the baby. So I ain't never seen nobody. I don't know if I want to see nobody getting pushed out though, Lisa. I don't know if I want to see that in the flesh. I don't know if I want to see that. God bless y'all. Can we just shout out to all the mothers? <laughs> Woo! Shout out to all the mothers. Shout out to all the mothers, okay? And Tracy Ann said, my daughter came out with thick, curly hair, though. Come on, now. So she probably was in the active stage when you had her. Praise God for y'all babies being in the active stage when y'all had them babies. Because I, well, I don't know if y'all see now with Facebook and Instagram, some people be posting that. And I know they be happy. They love that baby. But they want to post their baby fresh out the womb. They ain't even wiped the baby eye out. They still got the afterbirth and they posting it and the baby be in the resting stage. It's like, sis, wash the baby face. Put on the headband so we can know if it's a girl or boy because you, you want to say, oh, congratulations, sweet tea, handsome fella. Wash the baby face. Put on, put on, put the baby on some clothes. Baby be fresh out the uterus. They going to slap the baby on the chest. And P, I tell y'all one thing. When I have my kid, y'all better not be in there taking pictures. That baby fresh out, cause I need, I won't be checking to see what stage that baby in. I'm like, oh, what stage that baby in? Resting? Okay. No, they ain't even, they ain't even shampooed the afterbirth off, and y'all be ready to slap a picture on the on the social media. Let that baby live. That baby trying to figure out what the hair is doing. So y'all, y'all do that for me. Y'all do that for me. Don't be so quick to be posting. I know y'all be happy, but watch the afterbirth off. My God. Um, that the monster said, shout out to all the mothers. You are appreciated and celebrated. Yes. Now, Coach Shannon said you was bald forever. Now, Coach Shannon, don't speak that over your life because you ain't bald right now. Queen Heart said we always wait. Waited and made a big deal when their eyes open. Oh. Divinity said, well, thank you, Lisa. She's learning, though. Her dad's grandmother was full-blooded Cherokee and grandfather was Caucasian. 
that thing swinging okay you hear me that thing swinging so i think i talked about that and here's the other thing i want to talk about the last last couple things that we're gonna go ahead and end up last couple things we're gonna end up q scott said so good we do not have volume to hear other people oh <laughs> i wish i did have volume so i can hear y'all talk back to me okay q scott over there key kid so, this is another thing I'm going to say. When it comes to your hair growth, and y'all know we did this video maybe a couple weeks ago. We talked about finding out if you have the hair loss gene in your family. So, look at the people in your family and see how long their hair grow. And see if it's by choice or by force. So, we talked about, like, if, you, if your daddy bald, if your mama got hair loss gene, look at the people in your family. Look how long their hair grow. Okay, now in my family, we did grow real long hair, but it just thin out. And when I think about my grandma, she still had long hair to her shoulders, if not past her shoulders in a while. Mama Judy, she got hair. She got hair. She be trying to slap a little crochet on all the time, but Lord bless her. Lord, mama bless her. Okay, mama bless her. My mama got beautiful, beautiful silver white hair, but y'all know she, she be trying to live her best life. She said, honey, you better slap on this crochet. I won't do nothing to my head, okay? But my mama has pretty decent long hair. So look at the people in your family hair and see what length it gets to. So if people in your hair and people in your family are known to have long, beautiful hair, it's genetics. Your hair going to grow regardless. So y'all know how I tell y'all that don't fall for these... Uh, hair growth oils and stuff like that or rice water all these girls on youtube doing these rice ones like oh it helped my hair grow no like i told y'all she probably already have those genes where people in her family they just grow long hair regardless like it's in her dna and even i tell y'all about the rosemary system i tell you the rosemary system will promote hair growth okay it will promote hair growth i'm not promising if you just use that one hair product, your hair going to grow down your back. No. Y'all know, if y'all watch my channel, there's a lot of things that go into your hair growth. How you taking care of it. If you, if you stress. Keeping your ends trans. Keeping it healthy. All of that going to work. Are you healthy from the inside out? So, these products be don't, be, don't fall from the gimmicks and the marketing scheme. Like, oh, this growth oil is going to grow your hair. No, it's not. It's going to lubricate your hair. It's going to make it... More, uh, still in the moisture and give it shine but it's not going to grow your hair okay products do not grow your hair put that in the chat products do not grow your hair okay okay the lord is moving in all of our life all of our hair is growing but if god gave you something it's up to you to take care of it okay he have already provided us everything that we needed. So it's up to us to take care of the hair of our head to retain that length. And a lot of times is we get the length, but we we coloring it when we shouldn't be coloring it. We're not getting trims when we need to be getting trims. We're not getting our treatments when we need to be getting it treated. So the Lord can't move in your life. You got to get a little something to work with. Come on now. Come on now, you got to give the Lord something to work with. How he going to move in your life and you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? So, let's just say you come from a family like Lisa. People in my family don't grow hair all the way down their back. They don't, they, people in my family typically have hair to start right here. So, you know what that means? When your hair gets to that length, normally where people in your family hair grows to, you need to be taking care of it. You need to be taking care of it. Because it might not get no longer than that. It might not get no longer than that. So take care of it. And here's nothing I'm going to say. Some of y'all who have good hair in your family. Now don't y'all get beside yourself. Because y'all think, oh, people in my family, we just grow long hair. <laughs> I do. <laughs> my hair grows. <laughs> my hair is long. Let me tell you something, sister. Let me go ahead and humble you right now. I don't care if you do have genes of good hair or your hair growing long. If you don't take care of it, you're going to be looking like the bald-headed cat on the street wanting some water. Point blank, period. Okay? So you can go around here stunting like your hair is long. Like, 
your boo boo don't stink because you got jeans in your family where y'all have long hair, but if you're not taking care of of it, you're going to be a bald headed scallywag, ain't got no hair on the back, gel the weave the. Okay, I'm sorry, I had to get a little hood on y'all, but I'm just saying, get that in your spirit. Get that in your spirit, okay? So, regardless if long hair runs in your family or if it don't, this is this is the whole thing I want y'all to take care of because y'all know on my channel, we talk about being healthy inside out with our hair. You have to take care of your hair. No matter what stage your hair is in, if it's in the resting, active, or transitional stage, the whole point of this, take care of your hair. Take, take care of what the Lord has given you, and you wait for the Lord to move in your life. You wait for the Lord to move in your life on the rest. You take care of that hair. Take care of that hair. I'm trying to think was there anything I wanted to say. I think that was it. And I, I, and I meant to say this. Um, sometimes we can be stuck in a stage. It can seem like we're stuck in a stage a little bit longer. And we talked about the resting stage, about how, you know, hair is falling out and, and some is coming in. So sometimes, like, you'll see this with postpartum shedding. So with pregnant women, I remember I told y'all pregnant women, a lot of them be in the active stage. A lot of their hair been in the active stage, so it looks fuller and thicker and all of that. But sometimes after women had that baby, the little bald-headed baby, they go through that resting stage where they shed and lose a lot of hair. That's just normal. That's part of it. Your hair going to come back. It's going to come back, but you're, you have a hormone imbalance. You just had a baby. You might lose some edges. Just take care of it. And that's why I always encourage my pregnant women to keep their hair as healthy as possible during that pregnancy. Because the more and more you keep it healthy, even though you're going to have, you're going to lose some hair, it won't be as dramatic. It won't be as tragic. And your hair will it'd be, it'd be better if you go in with your hair healthy versus you going through your whole pregnancy with your hair not being, unhealth, with being unhealthy. Okay? So, that's what I wanted to say. And also, cutting your hair does not affect your what cycle your hair is in. So, don't think like, Oh, I don't want to cut my hair right now because it's in the resting stage or it's in this stage. Child, you don't even know what hair. You don't, you really don't know what stage your hair is in right now. Nobody knows. Nobody knows because this part could be in one stage. This part could be in another one. This strand over here could be doing something. This strand over here. At the end of the day, take care of your hair. No matter what stage you're in, take care of your hair. Okay, if you want hair growth, take care of your hair. Um... Yeah, so let me get through some of the comments, and we're going to go ahead and end up. I hope y'all got something about this and got a little kiki. Um, um, Acacia said, get them, Mama Judy. Yes, yes, get them. Angie said, yes, we have hair. My mom and grandma. Uh, Bet the mom just said, no rice water. Yes, no rice water. Don't y'all fall for it. Don't y'all fall for, like, these these actors on YouTube because these girls with these long long hair already they tell you oh I use rice water and I use avocado and look how much my hair grew they she might come from a, a family where her hair probably grow two inches every month but in your family you be happy to get a half an inch each month okay so you can't fall for these tactics on YouTube with this DIY recipes, okay? You don't fall for it, okay? Use yes, yes, use quality products because quality products gonna help you retain your length, okay? I'm not saying it's gonna grow overnight because you gotta do a whole lot of things. Yes, products can help promote it, but you're not gonna just use one product and your hair gonna go from here to here, okay? Unless that rapid hair growth runs in your family. If you don't run in your family, you just gotta pray and ask the Lord, what is what is the purpose of my bald head? Okay, do I need to be a model? Do I need to, you know, what's the purpose of my bald head? Okay, so yeah. All right, um, Queen Heart said, products do not grow your hair. Yes, thank y'all for putting it. Acacia said, take care of your heart. That Lamont just said, I'm looking forward to hearing that video that's coming tomorrow about menstrual cycle and patch your scalp sensitivity. Yes, yes. 
that video is going to be pretty good. And I might need to do a live to go in more depth because it's not a long video, but I want y'all to listen to that about how your menstrual cycle affects your scalp. And your men, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give all over the way, but we might have to do a, 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 a live maybe tomorrow about the things that happen to your hair just even during your menstrual cycle because not only does it affect your scalp, but you even notice some differences in your hair. Start paying attention when you're on your cycle. Start paying attention. And Divinity said, products do not grow your hair. That's why the Lord blessed us with Lisa. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Divinity. Thank you, Divinity. The dead demolisher said project pad. So even though the dead demolisher say she Christian, dead demolisher still got a little bit of hood up in her. Okay. She still got a little bit of hood up in her, but God bless her now. We ain't judging her. We ain't judging her. Okay. We ain't judging her. We ain't judging her. The Lord is still working with all of us, okay? Angie said, speaking of color, I want to color my locks and do it myself, but I'm scared. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? Why are you scared, Angie? Why are you, why are you scared? Why are you scared? Don't be scared. Go. You you know what you're doing, Angie. Well, Angie, you I seen that video you did where you dyed your hair blonde. Now, Angie, make sure your hair healthy, okay? I wouldn't recommend it as a stylist. You know me. I'm going to tell you to go to a professional. But I can't tell you what to do because you grown. You grown. But make sure your hair healthy. Tracy has said, bald-headed cat on the street. <laughs> bald-headed cat on the street. Need a water. <laughs> yes. Yes. Acacia said, eat clean. Come on now, Acacia. Acacia said, eat clean. Drink plenty of water. Periodically clean out your gut. Oh, that's what you were saying. Yeah, clean out your gut. Now, you mean probiotics or you mean go dropping them kids off at the pool? Either way, you need to be regular. You need to be regular. Okay? The reason why some of y'all have scalp build up because when last time you did a BM? When last time y'all you did a BM? So, thank you for that, Acacia. And take your vitamins. Uh, that demonstrator said, amen, Keisha. That thanks for the reminder. I ate clean today, but forgot to take my vitamins. I took my vitamins today. And you know what, Acacia? You will be proud of me because normally when I run out of my vitamins, I wait to reorder them. But I had noticed when I did my little list of what I needed to get from Target, I noticed I was I noticed I was gonna run out of vitamins today. So I made sure I had them vitamins on my list so it won't be no laps. And taking my vitamins. So we already got the real. So I said, yes, yes, I'm taking my vitamins. Yes. Coach Haru is in the building. She said, hey, Smiles Tribe, listen in. Thanks so much for joining. We get ready to end up on this conversation so you can watch the replay. And what's the purpose of my bald head? <laughs> Tracy Hand said, what if you no longer get a menstrual cycle? Hmm. That's a good question, uh, Tracy Ann. That's a good question. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure. But maybe I can do some research on that if you don't get a menstrual cycle no more. I don't see, I don't know if you still have like a hormone imbalance or what. I'm not really sure. But that's a good question. I'm going to research that. Coach Sheena said, products do not grow your hair. You right. You right. Um, Lisa H said, I can relate, Tracy Ann. What did Tracy Ann talk about? She don't get a menstrual cycle. Look, I'm all up in her business. Look, I'm in the chat, so y'all have your own conversation. Coach Sheena said, y'all are laughing. I'm over here taking this conversation very seriously. Coach Sheena said, look, y'all kick in. But I'm trying to get my lesson in, okay? I'm trying to get my lesson in, okay? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, Lisa. You're welcome, Angie. All right. Yes, Divinity, still going through per periodic hot flash. That's a good question. I'm going to have to ask my mentor about that. That is a really good question about what, what's going on with the hair when you're going through those hot flashes. So do your scalp when you, when you get hot? How your scalp? Well, no, I don't. I don't feel them hot. No, I ain't feel the hot flashes. Let me start like I ain't feel the hot flashes. But when some of my clients are going through a flash, 
I feel they scalp feel real, real soft. I guess because they be sweating a lot in their scalp. They scalp feel real, real soft. But I wonder, does it affect, like, make it feel extra tender? Or is it more sensitive? That's a good question. Let's do some research on that. And I'm, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to get back to you. See, I don't act like I know it all. If I don't know something, hey, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to get back to you. But these are some really good questions. Angie said, I took my vitamins today too. Come on, Angie, take the vitamins. Acacia said, thank you for asking that question, Tracy, and me either. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some research on that. I'm going to have to do some research on that. The debt demolisher said, <laughs> Coach Sheena, sorry we've been class disruptors tonight. <laughs> Coach Sheena said, look. I'm trying to get my lesson in. Y'all can kick here another night, okay? <laughs> Divinity say, I know hot flashes make you want to be AJ. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry, Coach Sheena. I don't know why I was supposed to not be laughing. I'm sorry. But <laughs> I was thinking about another Jason. I'm not sure if that's a Jason you was talking about, Divinity, but that's what I was thinking about. Um, Lisa H said, yes, Lisa, soft scalp, and it gets very dry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm about to get off of here because I'm doing a little bit too much kiki. I don't know where this energy came from, but do a little too much kiki. No flashing, but I do surgery, no more cycles. Okay, okay. Y'all trying to y'all trying to get deep. <laughs> Tracy Ann said, that's why my silk press mess wasn't working after one minute. I sweat at night, especially with my head wrap on. Yeah, cuz. Yeah, cuz. You get the sweat in your head, it's a wrap. The dead the marshal said, what's a Jason? Divinity. <laughs> yes, Jason on Friday the 13th. That's what I was thinking about. Coach Sheru said, yep, Acacia, I was flashing a little in my late 20s. Really? Really, your late twins? You know, I need to be asking my mama so I can see if it's. I know I'm still young, but in your late twenties, in your late twenties, uh, did the mom said, "Oh, a male partially completed." Okay, so y'all, this was fun tonight. This was a lot of fun. I'm glad y'all got to listen in. I gotta go back and watch uh, TG's um, premiere. Premiere as I finish getting ready for bed. I'm gonna watch TG's premiere and um, we're gonna come back on that. But I hope y'all learned something tonight. I hope y'all got a good look. Y'all y'all got it all tonight. Y'all got a kiki in, y'all got the word up in you, and y'all learned some hair tips tonight. So I hope you found value in this live stream tonight. I hope it brightened you not. You're not. Premenopause can enter at 21. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, let's get back to that. Okay. Divinity, I carry my Oriental fan everywhere. I sweat in a cold room. Wow. It cut off his premiere. It did? Okay. So, I hope y'all was able to find value tonight. I ain't going to behold the Saints long because it is a work night. It's 1020. And thank y'all so much for watching. And what else I had to tell y'all? Yeah, y'all make sure y'all um look for the community post because I'm gonna be doing something. Look, I'm gonna be doing something new, giving y'all little little nuggets throughout the day. So y'all make sure y'all got your notification bells on for the community post. So I got some great ideas to post on there. So I'm so excited about community posts. And make sure you have your notifications on because I'm gonna start doing some video, like some little quick like four to five minute video drops like around like 10 a.m I, I do them as a premiere in case y'all want to chat but no pressure if you want to watch it later um and yeah so that's what we're gonna do so thank y'all so much for and also 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 i wanted to say this i've been getting some orders from some people i've seen some of people put it in the notes that they came from TG Live, so you know who you are. If you have ordered from me, if you have subscribed to my channel from TG Live, I appreciate you more than you know, okay? So without further ado, we will go ahead and end this live stream. And Q Scott, um, she over there singing the benediction. <laughs> we 
we ain't gonna do no altar call tonight. You should have you should have got Jesus last night, okay? <laughs> Not just playing. The, the spirit is still here if you want him, okay? So we're gonna go on. We done did the benediction and I talk to y'all another night. Bye. Premiere cut off? Okay. Thank y'all.